Hello friends, good morning. In this second unit, that is over voltages in power system, so far I have discussed what is lightning phenomena, lightning over voltages, switching over voltages, different types of lightning strokes, different types of switching over voltages, and how to protect the power system against over voltages. There is one very important term associated with the over voltage protection of power system and that is insulation coordination. So before explaining insulation coordination, I will repeat the definition of BIL that is basic impulse level or basic insulation level or basic impulse insulation level. The definition is it is the peak value of standard 1.2 by 50 microsecond impulse voltage wave which the insulation of the equipment or power system must sustain. So, it is the peak value of a standard 1.2 by 50 microsecond impulse voltage wave which the insulation of the system or equipment must be capable of sustaining. So that is BIL. Now, let us see what is insulation coordination. Insulation coordination is the process of coordinating the insulation level of the equipment or system being protected with the protection level of lightning arrester. There is coordination. We have to coordinate between the insulation of the equipment or power system being insulation of the system being protected with the protection characteristic or protection level of the protective device that is the lightning arrester. Now let us see what is the importance or significance of this insulation coordination process or insulation coordination. We know that the over voltages which are coming in the power system has very very high value, very high peak value. So we cannot design the insulation of the system or equipment to such level. So we select certain level according to this system voltage and then we protect that protect the equipment with the protective devices like lightning arrester and we keep the spark over voltage of the lightning arrester well below the insulation level of the equipment being protected. If we do not do so, then costly electrical installations will be damaged due to over voltages and continuity of the power supply to the customers will be interrupted. So if we do not do the insulation coordination, insulation coordination first thing will happen costly electrical installation will be damaged and as a result continuity of the power supply to the customers will be interrupted therefore we have to do the insulation coordination so that is the importance or significance of the insulation coordination now let us see the procedure in the first step we draw the bil characteristic of the equipment or system insulation being protected so, this is the BIL characteristic. In the second step, we select the protective device that is lightning arrester such that its spark over voltage, this is the spark over voltage of the lightning arrester is well below the BIL. So, in the second step, we are selecting the lightning arrester in such a way that its spark over voltage and discharge voltage are well below BIL. And the difference between this BIL and this spark over voltage or discharge voltage is called as protection margin. And we have to select protection margin in such a way that is it is greater than or equal to 20% of BIL. So if BIL is let us say 1000 kb then protection margin should be greater than or equal to 20% of BIL that is 200 kb. So this difference must be at least 200 kV. So, if we keep this 200 kV, then spark over voltage of the lightning arrester should be less than or equal to 800 kV. Now, if you look at this BIL, that is basic impulse insulation level, this is volt time characteristic. Along volt, along y axis, we are taking voltage, and along x axis, we are taking time. And you can see here this. Point. If we consider this point, it means this much voltage the insulation can sustain for this much time. 
if we consider this point then this much voltage insulation can sustain for this much time so as the time is increasing the voltage sustaining capability of the insulation is reducing so this bil is function of voltage and time sorry it is function of voltage and time so this is also called as impulse volt time characteristic now let us see how this impulse volt time characteristic is constructed now let us see what is impulse volt time characteristic and how it is constructed impulse volt time characteristic is the characteristic of spark over voltage versus time with standard 1.2 by 50 microsecond impulse voltage wave so series of standard 1.2 by 50 microsecond waves are applied on the insulation and the spark over point is noted now as the spark over voltage is depending on as the spark over voltage depends on the voltage as well as time of application we write this as function of voltage and time now when we apply a standard impulse voltage wave of very high amplitude or high amplitude there are three possibilities if a spark over takes place then there are three possibilities number 1 spark over occurs on the wave front that is on the rising portion second spark over occurs at the peak value and third possibility is spark over occurs at the wave tail that is at the decreasing portion of this impulse wave now here we are applying series of impulse standard impulse voltage wave so we have to find out number of points and then we have to join all these points by smooth curve that will be impulse volt time characteristic now let us see how the points are marked on this characteristic first possibility spark work takes place on the rising portion that is wave front so in that case the point of spark over is noted so here if spark over takes place at this point then on the characteristic this point will come it indicates that the insulation spark over at this peak value or insulation can sustain this value for this much time this value it can sustain and for this much time we draw vertical line that will give the time we draw horizontal line that will give the voltage wave voltage spark over voltage second possibility is spark over occurs at the peak value so when spark over occurs at the peak value we note that point so this indicates this much voltage this is the spark over voltage or voltage the insulation can sustain for this much time third possibility spark over takes place at the wave tail or at the decreasing decreasing portion of the impulse voltage wave suppose it takes place here so in that case we do not take this point but we draw a vertical line from this point i am showing this point here so we draw the vertical line and then we draw the horizontal line from here so we are drawing the vertical line and we are drawing the horizontal line so where these two lines meet that point we take on the wave tail spark over i will repeat if a spark over takes place on the wave tail then we draw the horizontal line from that point and vertical line from that point and where these two lines meet that point we take on the characteristic so in this way we obtain few points on wave front point on the peak value and few points on the wave tail and we join them by smooth curve we join them by smooth curve now remember if wave uh, if spark over takes place at the rising portion in the next attempt or in the in this in the in the next consecutive attempt we reduce the amplitude of the impulse wave so that the, the so that the insulation sustain 
voltage for comparatively longer time. Then we find the point. Again, we apply the voltage but less with reduced magnitude so that the time for which it can sustain the voltage is less. Then finally, we join all these points by a smooth curve. So, volt time characteristic will look like this. So, here <coughs> you can see we obtain different points and we have joined them by a smooth curve. These two points, they show that spark wire has occurred on the wave front. This shows that spark wire has occurred on the peak value. This is 1.2 microsecond. So, spark wire has occurred on the peak value. And all these points show that spark wire has occurred and on the wave tail. So, this is the impulse volt time characteristic. Now, here two important terms are there. Number one is critical voltage. Critical voltage is obtained on the wave tail. It is the peak value of the standard impulse wave for which spark core occurs 5 times out of 10 applications on the wave tail. So, we have to find the voltage for which spark core takes place 5 times out of 10 applications but spark core should be on the wave tail. And second term is V reference. It is the peak value of a standard 1.2 by 50 microsecond impulse voltage wave for which it is the sorry it is the maximum peak value of the standard 1.2 by 50 microsecond voltage wave for which spark core does not occur. So here we have to find the maximum value of the standard maximum value maximum peak value of the standard impulse spark core voltage for which flash over or spark over does not occur. So, that is the reference level. It means that voltage, the impulse voltage, the insulation is capable of sustaining. So, this is the impulse volt time characteristic. Remaining portion of this article I will discuss in my next class. Thank you.